Hey guys, this is Rob. In this video, we're going to cover how to create a 12208 volt single phase panel board that you can use as an inverter or even maybe a sub panel out in a, a smaller building. Let's get right into it. So here we are in our Revit electrical tutorial project and I loaded a family that comes directly from Revit for lighting and appliance panel boards. And these are what you're probably most used to unless you have some custom panel boards made. But let's start off with their default. And it's over here on the left, lighting and appliance panel board, 208 volt main log only. So it is hard coded, if you will, with a 208 volt three phase setup. If we drag it in and look at it, let's say we're going to put a little a single phase 12208 inverter into this project. So let's bring in this 100 amp version and put it on the wall here. And it needs to be flipped around to work. So you can see it's just a just a rectangle. Our custom panels have a door and have a symbol. So if you look at this, over on the right, you look at all the information, electrical information. Near the bottom, you see electrical data, 208 volt, three phase, and there's no load on it. And it's a 12208 distribution. Now, how can I change this to a single phase? Well, I can't. There are no properties in here, no parameters for me to change. It's it's hard coded. Even this voltage here is just, just a text. It's not a value. So what we need to do is we actually have to edit this family. So here we go into the family editor. Again, if that's new to you, well, try to follow along and you might learn something on editing families. If you're not comfortable, well, we can leave that as an advanced topic. But let us jump in to edit this family. So here we are. And it, like I say, it's just a rectangular extrusion. This circular cross up here is the electrical connector. So if I click on it, we can see over here how it's set up. It is set up. Now we can leave a panel board or switchboard unbalanced because its loads will be dependent upon what loads it is serving, which will always be unbalanced unless everything is exactly a three phase load. So that is fine. Number of poles, it's set up as three and two eight volt. Now you can see that these little rectangles on the right, if you click that, it would tie it to a family parameter that we could get to in our model. But there are no family parameters for these items. Now we could what I call map these internal parameters from this connection. We could map these to a the family if we want, so we can change it in the model. Or we could hard code this one as a 12282 pole single phase panel and just have it that way. So it's, it's up to you how you want to do this for your end users. I've kept them hard coded for the other panels, so I'm going to keep this one hard coded this way. So what I mean is I'm going to change parameters in this and save it as a different family. So I'm just going to change this to two poles. 208 is what I want because I'm connecting this to a, actually to a 12208 three phase four wire Y system. So it's a 208 single phase. And that's all I need to do. And I need to save this as a family. I'll just save it here and I'm going to call it 208 single phase. And you can see this is a main lug only as well. There's separate ones for main lug only, for main circuit breaker, for surface, for recess. They have a separate family for everything. So we're going to stay with that for now. So there, we've saved a single phase version. And this is just so that we can get this into our model, load it, and it's in here. Now we need to get rid of this three phase version we put in. Now we can find our single phase version over here on the left. So let's bring that in. 100 amp version get it on this wall so here we have it let us see what it looks like we have electrical data 208 to pole but it is on a 12208 y distribution system with three phase four wire so that is not exactly what we want now let us see if we can change that we can't change it there's no other distribution system that this works on so let's see what happens if we create a panel schedule if we go to panel schedule create one for the inverter and we can see that it has given us all three phases three phase four wire 12208y and that is not what we want so just setting the poles to two did not change us to a single phase panel so how can we fix that well let's get rid of this inverter delete that panel schedule we need to add 
a 12208 volt single phase distribution system to our model. Now our template didn't have that in it so we have to add it here. So another advanced topic we're going to get into adding a distribution system. So how do we do that? Up in manage MEP settings. Up here there's an electrical settings and in this dialog you can see there's a bunch of things in here wiring and wiring types, voltage definitions. We want distribution systems. Right now we have a 12208Y, three phase four wire, a 12240 volt single, single phase three wire for like residential split phase. And then we have a 48277Y, three phase four wire. We need a 12208 single phase three wire system. So we merely add that and we will call it 12208 single. It is single phase. We're going to make a three wire system so we have two hots and a neutral. Line to line voltage will be the high voltage 208. Line to ground or line to neutral will be 120. So now we have defined another distribution system that our model can understand. Okay now click on the inverter down at the bottom right under distribution system there's a drop down we actually have another system that we can choose for this panel board. There we go, 12208 single, and it's changed to single phase three wires. So if we were to create under analyze panel schedules, let's recreate an inverter panel schedule and see what we get. Now we have single phase three wire, and we can adjust the number of circuits in that panel. But that is how we go about creating a single phase three wire panel, and we can hook this up to our three phase main distribution board you will see that it comes up MDB and there it is it's in our MDB as the inverter so it all connects to a three phase system even though it's a single phase panel but it shows as only having two phases in it for calculation purposes